Mystery black jelly. I'm not even a picky eater, but I cannot do jiggly food. Like, just can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Sarah and Chance Worldwide. This is our series called Vegan in Japan. Today, we're having a bento show off. Showdown. Showdown. <laughs> we're showing off these bentos. <laughs> so we have three bento boxes, all from different restaurants. So we have the Funadea bento, which is from Funadea Veggie Restaurant in Fukuoka. We have a bento from the Hakata Station Macrobiotic Ava Dining bento location. And we have a vegetable bento from Ekibenya in Tokyo Station. All right, so you're probably wondering, what is a bento? Bento, the Japanese word for bento, just means lunch. Bento box is a very popular term. It's a lunch box. It's basically how your bento comes, because it's a travel food item. Mm -hmm. Japanese culture is very centered around being on the go, so people are always going to and from stations, for work, for travel, for fun, really anything. It's a lot of public transit, so they do need a reliable food option that can be carried to and from places, and this really is it. Alright, so let's get into unboxing these and showing you what's in them. They are... we got them yesterday. <laughs> We have traveled with these. Because we had to get the Tokyo one here in Tokyo and the Fukuoka ones in Fukuoka. So we had to take them from Fukuoka here, get the last one so we can show you all of them together. So let's get to unboxing them so we can show you what it's like. This is the bento from Funadea in Fukuoka. As you can see, it is about twice the size of the other bentos. So that is a huge advantage to it. It was also only 600 yen which is about six US dollars. So that is really affordable for this amount of food. It's got veggies, proteins. I see three different kinds, maybe four different kinds of proteins, which is a huge plus and they're all different. So that's super awesome. It does have a lot of rice, which I personally am not a huge fan of. I know that that's like sacrilegious in Japan to say that, but rice is so hard for me to eat like I could not finish all of this in one sitting so that's like a pro and a con because it's kind of hard to travel with bentos but you would not be left wanting so yeah the presentation looks nice it's really colorful everything looks good after a whole day of travel so and if you don't know how we feel about Funadea make sure to check out our episode on Funadea we'll link it up above yeah that actually that is one of our favorite restaurants in all of Japan and this is only our second time trying their bentos, so it will be interesting to see how they compare to dining there, which is like a 10 out of 10. All right, next we're gonna show you Ekibenya bento. This you can get from Tokyo Station, and it is 930 yen, so almost, well, I guess 1.25 the cost of this one. It's more expensive. You get less food. There isn't a whole lot of really exciting things going on with it, but yeah. if you just look at it, that's what you think. It's very beautiful though. The, the colors and the presentation of it, it looks so nice. Like I think this is the most attractive bento of all the three of these. I agree. And that's just if you look at it. When you taste it, that's when the real virtues of this bento come to life mm -hmm. because all these veggies and this is like a vital wheat gluten right here all these veggies are all roasted and smoked mm -hmm. they all have like a really great flavor it has both rices like an enzyme rice which is really good for a digestion and then it has this like soy hamburger on the other rice with some edamame you get like a I don't know what this is exactly, <laughs> but I think it's supposed to be like a Hamburg, it looks like, Hamburg steak thing. Yeah, that's thing. what they call that in Japan. It's like, it's like uh, a, their beef, basically, vegan beef. I also have to show you the, the cute flower. It's so cute. See, flower the, carrot. This is so cute. This one is gets points for how cute it is. Just that alone. And super convenient to carry with you because mm -hmm. the lid, boom. Yeah, this is Just, the easiest travel bento for sure. 
It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. It's not. Let's do, let's do the test here. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that's all I lost. So lastly, we have the bento from Ava Dining. And I will say that this one probably has a bit of an advantage because Ava Dining specifically is a bento place. It's like a full restaurant in Hakata Station, but they also have two or three other locations and they have like seven or eight different choices of bentos every time. We just picked this one because it looked like it had the most different kinds of ingredients in it, and it was easy to travel with, with this little wooden box. Also, I will say that these two both come from fully vegan establishments, mm -hmm. and this one is the only vegan option at this establishment. So you get variety in this one because it's whatever daily fresh veggies and food that he has made at Funadea, and Hakata, all vegan, everything, mm -hmm. all the time. So this one is definitely more mass produced. They have a huge, huge customer base in the stations. So it is less likely that you'll get something new when you go here. So that would be one con of this. Although everything that we do get in these bentos is delicious. We've never really had an issue with anything that they've put in here. The only thing that they do always include that us Westerners don't really love is the RMA seaweed and it's just personal preference. Maybe you love it and you're from America, but it is a really fishy taste and both of us are not fans of that, so. If you want to see a full video on Hakata Station's Ava Dining Bento Paradise, we have a video on that. We'll link that up above. They have way more than just this bento. They mm -hmm. have probably five or six different variations. They have smaller ones. They also have sweets and other things as well. Yeah, so this one, I'm immediately drawn to the fact that they have like a karage type thing. It looks like like a crispy fried protein, which is delicious. And they also have a dessert, like a little cake with whipped cream on it. So that's really cute. This one did cost about 650 yen. So just a little bit more than this one. And it does have a lot less food. So as far as price goes for the amount of food you get, Funadea is really like kicking it out of the ball game. Is that a phrase? Hitting it out of the park. Really hitting it out of the park on the price for what you get. These two look pretty and have a lot of food, but they do cost a little bit more. Oh yeah, and if you'd like to see us devouring these, going to this place, finding where it is in Tokyo Station, check out our vlog series. I'll link that up above as well. We were in Japan for 18 days and we got this bento two times so far so we'll see how many more times we get it and you can check out all our adventures there all right so now we're gonna do the taste test before we decide on which one is the best bento that you can get so we're gonna rate these on a scale of one to ten on taste value and presentation we're gonna start with the Funadeo one just because I love that restaurant <laughs> Uh, let's see, what should we try first? Mmm, potato salad. This, this is something we don't talk about. <laughs> we don't talk we about We don't this. even know exactly what it is. I think it's bitter melon, and it's very bitter. It's very bitter. That's, I'm sure it's good for you. I eat it every time. I Sarah, don't eat it every time. <laughs> Sarah does not eat it every time. I tried it. I gave it a good try at least twice. Yeah, and it's just, sorry. We're it's, sorry if we did. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I will eat it. I know it's good for me. All these vegetables, I will eat no matter what. So we're gonna try this little potato salad here. Mm. Oops. That's delicious. Contamination. <laughs> that is very good. Let's try one of the proteins. Yeah. Ooh, I get the bigger piece. Mm. Wow. This is amazing. That has so much flavor. This is so good. That's like panko breaded on it. And it's either baked or fried, but either way, it's really, really good. You can imagine when it's hot, it's 10 times better, but. Um, we need to take a bite of this. Wow, again. Mmm. Tastes like a burger. So good. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So good. Another well, protein. This one is my favorite protein. Do they have a Funadea? If you're Chance watching, if you're watching this, please just give me a whole box of this because <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like jerky almost, but like less chewy. It's gluten. No. It's soy meat. Mm -hmm. It's really, really flavorful. Okay. Now we're going to try the mystery black jelly. I'm not even a picky eater, but I cannot do jiggly food. Like, just can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Suspect right. as... It's a jiggly. That's good. <laughs> I think it's a black sesame. That's good. It's really good. That's like a great a flavor. Sesame jelly. It's good. Okay. We don't need to try the rice. We know what rice tastes like. We know what veggies taste like, but this is a curried potato. potato. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a really good curry. One day always hitting it out of the park. So good. Everything that they serve is packed full of flavor. Even the vegetables are just seasoned so well, cooked so well. Sometimes when you get like a vegetable bento or like a vegan option in Japan, if it's not a vegan restaurant, it will be a little bland because the cooks and the chefs there aren't like specialized in vegetable cooking. But when you go to an all vegan place like this, so good, so good. All Our right, favorite. So out of 10 for taste. I would give it a nine out of 10 for taste just because of the couple things that I can't I can't say I love but everything that I do love in this I really love so yeah I'd give it a nine what about you I'd give it a nine nine too. yeah pretty good all right so value 10 10 easy 10 this is easy. huge and 600 yen that's so cheap that's super super cheap and presentation for presentation I would give this one a six just because it is big so it's a little harder so I can see why it's not as like aesthetic as these two since they're a lot smaller and packed in there this one is just more widespread so it's a little less like cute so yeah I would give it a six for presentation I would give it a seven and in presentation I'm including how easy it is to carry around and that's why I would give it a seven because I mean I I love the open layout of it mm -hmm. but as soon as you pick it up, it bends. Yeah. Like, it just, everything starts to fall apart. <laughs> yeah, so this one wouldn't look so pretty or stay so separate after travel. But if you don't care about that, then whatever. Because honestly, its presentation doesn't really affect the taste or the quality of the food. We just kind of threw that one in there. I agree. All right, so we have total for this one. We're going to head on to the Tokyo Ekibenya. So this one has a lot of vegetables. So let's start there. I'm going to get this. Squash. This squash. I'll take the cute little carrot. Mm. It's definitely squash. <laughs> Is it seasoned? Not that piece really. I mean, it was, just a, it was sweet, so it was like a really good squash. I guess squash doesn't necessarily need all that much seasoning. So it that's... wasn't salted or anything, yeah. but it didn't taste bland or dry. That carrot is pickled, so it was really good. It was very soft. Okay, let's try this bamboo. I'll try this lotus. I love how lotus looks. Okay, so the bamboo. Mmm. Yep. That too. Very good. It's crunchy. Mm-hmm. The bamboo is amazing. This is a strange bean. <laughs> uh, it looks like a, a huge lima bean. It does. And then celery? I think this is celery. That looks like a green bean. No. No, you're right. <laughs> Packed full of flavor. Next, this vital wheat gluten or what looks like a seitan kind of. This is like Japanese seitan. It's rolled very differently. So in America, seitan is usually 
kept in like patties or wing shapes in Japan, it's like it's like a swirl. So it's like flat and it looks like bread and they sell it dehydrated. So then you just boil it in water and season it then. It's really weird, but That's it's good. good. It's good? Mm-hmm. See? Flat. <laughs> <clears throat> when hiding under, there's uh, some more veggies. I think it's good, but I also think it's a, a little lacking in flavor. I think it could be a little more flavorful. It kind of tastes like wet bread, which is I, exactly what seitan is, but I can tell. We're gonna try this mystery thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but mm. it's good. It's really good. I think it's tofu. Out of 10 on taste. Out of 10 on taste, I would give this a six. So it's pretty obvious that this one is like a serves meat vegan option, you know? Like it's not like, this is like a specialty vegan bento place. By tasting this, you can really tell like this is almost just vegetables. So it's good because vegetables are good and it's hard to screw that up, but nothing really blew me away. I agree. I would I'd have to give it a six as well. I agree. Same reasons. Mm -hmm. All right, so value. Value. It's the most expensive one, so I'm probably gonna have to give it a five or less. I was gonna say a four for value. This is not expensive food in here. Like these other ones have a lot of like mock meats and seasonal produce. This one has more like pickles, rice, seaweed, the seitan stuff. I am glad they included that, but it isn't expensive. So I don't think that we really got, what is it? Nine, nine, nine fifty? Nine hundred yen. I don't think we got our money's worth in this one necessarily. It is nice because it's right in Tokyo Station. So it's pretty likely that if you do take the Shinkansen that you'll be going out of Tokyo Station. So the accessibility of it is nice, but I wouldn't say that the value of it is great. It's a good last option. Yeah, at that point, I would just try to make sure your Shinkansen leaves after 7 and grab uh, a mm. to-go sandwich box or beef bowl mm -hmm. from Tea's Tauntaun. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what Tea's Tauntaun is, or Tea's Restaurant, we have a video on that, you can check that out too, because mm -hmm. they are the Amazing. game changers They're of Tokyo. They're kind of like top par vegan Japanese food. Alright, last, last one. Leave. We will go for the Ava Dining Bento. These people made their restaurant to make bentos, so pasta. Let's rate them that way. Mhm. Mm Delicious. It's like a white sauce macaroni salad. Yeah, it's really good. It tastes really good, even after a day. And there's no raisins in it, so. And it's cooked al dente, it's not mushy, and it's not hard, so that's awesome. Mystery pickled liquid thing. Liquid? <laughs> Mystery oh pickled, my God. pickled vegetable. Mmm. What is it? I don't know. It's good. What do you think this is? That's very good. That's a mushroom. I know this is a mushroom. I'm saying it's this stuff. Like, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's good. Tastes good. No complaints. We're gonna leave these fried onions out. Because they've been sitting? Because they've been sitting. No sitting fried onions. They look, they look good. They would have been good. There is some karage underneath it. Oh, we love karage. And it looks seasoned with like something red or orange, so that sounds good. Mm. Yep. Mm hmm. Amazing. So good. So, another pickle. I think this is bamboo. I think this is a um, like Oh, it's like tofu noodles. Yeah, like bean curd noodles. Yeah. It's pickled. Those are very <laughs> flavorful. They're a little tangy though, like a little too tangy for me. But I'm sure that's exactly what they're going for. And they're very flavorful. Oh wait, get some of the sauce. You got all the sauce. i get it to you. I'll let you get lost. Lost in the sauce. Alright, so... This stuff looks the best. This looks like the best thing we have. Mmm! 
Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. It comes with a little like probably like mayonnaise type thing. And it's super, super good. It's very moist. <clears throat> so instead of doing plain rice, they did a pickled plum rice. Just mm. plain rice with a pickled plum on top. Enzyme rice with mm. sesame seeds and seaweed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, this one is not it's not bad because it's like a little bit of seaweed. It's not the same. But when you, what I like to do is I like to add the seaweed into the rice because I like to eat everything, mm -hmm. even if it's not like my it's favorite thing. It's hard to waste, yeah. I like to eat all the stuff even if I don't like it because I know it's good for me and I should eat it. Yeah, and we don't really like to waste, so we do, as a general rule, try to eat every single thing on our plate. So, <laughs> for taste, this one is getting a 10. 10, easy 10, every single thing. It's delicious, it's got everything we want in a lunch. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna put these down so I don't gesture with them because that's rude. That is rude. For value? Also rude. I have to give it an eight. Value. This was 650 yen. I think I would give it a nine because this does easily fill me up when we get it. 650 yen is really cheap in my opinion. Like this is 600. Nothing will be as cheap as this for how much food you get. But this is only 650. So yeah, I'd give it a nine. I'd give it a nine. All right, so, and? 8.5. Presentation. Presentation, I, I'm gonna give it a 10. I'm gonna say it is on par with Ekibenya for presentation because the first thing you see when you look at it is the karage, which is our favorite. So yeah, it's really pretty. You can see every bit of food. It's got this nice little circle container, holds itself together well travels well yeah 10 all right i'll give it a 10 too yeah definitely yeah let's tally up what we got here we're gonna start with so we have the bento from veggie Siokudo funadea in fukuoka this was 600 yen for this huge amount of food final score 8.5 8.5 out of 10 that's super good real good Real, Super, real good. And if that tells you anything, their food in the restaurant is even better. So mm -hmm. definitely make it out of Funadea. Try their food. It's, it's so good. So good. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, the restaurant is an easy 10 out of 10 every single time. The hot food, oh man. Yeah, go there. Next. We have Ekibenya from Tokyo Station. This was 930 yen. Pretty expensive. So final score. 6.3. 6.3. Makes Not sense. Not gonna cut it. <laughs> Not gonna it cut sense. it. It's yeah. almost ten dollars. Yeah. You don't get very many specialty items. Mm -hmm. It's just vegetables and rice mostly. Yeah. It is lacking in, like, what's the word? Variety. Yeah. It is lacking in variety. It is delicious vegetables. Could never say too many good things about vegetables. They're delicious. It's hard to screw them up, but. It doesn't have much for vegans, if that makes sense. Like these two both have mock meats specifically curated for vegan and vegetarian people who want the bento experience. And this one is very clearly the vegetable option of a meat serving restaurant. So yeah, if you're in Tokyo Station and that's all you got, definitely get it. Couldn't recommend it more. It's good, you'll be happy. But if you have the opportunity to try these two, Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, last but not least, we have Hakata Station's Eva Dining Bento. Mm -hmm. This one was 650 yen out of Hakata Station. Very beautiful. Final score? 9.5. Wow. We have a winner. 9.5. Almost perfect. That makes sense. Their specialty is bentos, so they should be that high. And they are. They're amazing. Every time we get them, they're amazing. Definitely. And they have so much more to offer than just these bentos. They have like six different kinds of bentos, mm -hmm. smaller portions of bentos. They even have rice mm -hmm. and sweets. So, I mean. Yeah. Pretty much anything that you could possibly want to grab really quick while you're on the go. 
for getting on a train, for going to work, for going to an excursion, anything. They have it and it's all good. And it's right in the main station, Hakata Station, which is, if you're in Fukuoka, you're going to pass through there for sure. Mm -hmm. They have three other places near the airport and other stations in Fukuoka, so you're really... Very accessible. Very accessible and convenient. So yeah, Ava Dining, big old winner. <laughs> but yeah, everything we had here was good. It was all a good experience. We hope that this experience was cool for you to learn about what bento is in Japanese culture and to also see that vegans are not missing out here and that it's really cool to be vegan in Japan and it's not, it's not lacking. If you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up it really helps out our channel make sure you subscribe to keep up with us on our travels to and from japan and our adventures along the way and all of our yummy vegan food <laughs> i want to know how much you like seaweed do you like seaweed is it your favorite thing is it like your least favorite thing is what kind tolerable? of seaweed <laughs> what kind of seaweed do you like the most let us know in the comments below mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time yeah, thanks for watching